everyone, and welcome. You can sense it through the pageantry, the tradition, the electricity that permeates this place as we get set for a terrific game. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Still on his feet. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. And here he comes, and you may think that you can take a wide receiver out of the game plan, but Jesse, with this guy, he sort of believes, I'm him, I'm the dude. Yeah, and he gives defensive coordinators nightmares, too, I swear. When you watch this guy's highlight tape, man, he scares you to death with his speed. He can take the top off the defense. He can change the game, David, on any given play. And so how many different ways can I continue to give him touches? You know, they're going to they're split him out wide. I'd hand him the football. I'd throw it to him quick. I'd throw it to him deep. This is a playmaker that will be featured. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A strike downfield. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Gun room at the 35. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the grab. It's Matthews. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. Wants to throw on second down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Mosley. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage before he was stopped, but using the running back in the short passing game gives him a first down. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. He wants to throw. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside get. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll run play action. Let's it fly. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. It is perfect. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. 
Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, And that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Goes to the option. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Give to the big fullback. Tackled, but he has a first down. And you give it to the big boy. I like that. Those guys are really stout. They're usually not very tall, thick as can be, used to hitting linebackers. That's what they, they chew on linebackers for a living. I love when you give them the football and lower their shoulder and get that first down for them. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run the option. Great to have perfect blocking, but you can also make your own. And that's exactly what he does, getting it up to the 36. Fullbacks, a.k.a. blocking backs, a.k.a. don't touch the football very often and usually don't go far down the field. But a nice, nice little chunk run here for the, for the fullback. Give him the ball, reward the big fella. He'll ride his man on the option. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Sometimes you try to fool the defense with the fullback, not fooled there. You better block. Goodness gracious, that's supposed to be a quick hitter, get me a few short yards, and there was nowhere to hit it. They guess got hit in the backfield and brought the big fella down quickly. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. Hand off from the shotgun. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Snap it to the back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires one high and deep. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Offensive players know where the ball is going. Defensive players don't. Great job by the DB adjusting to the football, seeing it, playing the wide receiver, and making sure he can't catch the football. And here comes the punt team. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. 
First play of this drive will start from the 31-yard line. On the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Here comes the option. Still running at the 40. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. Really, really nice football play. Man, i got to understand option football. i got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. Look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The whole point of running the quarterback on these designed runs is to get an extra blocker. You should be getting more movement up front at that time. Guys were getting knocked backwards, and as a result, they actually lost him. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43 looking to throw and he needs a bunch got him downfield he got loose almost housed it finally dragged down at the 32 and listen the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often he is a weapon and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game on first down here comes this offense Keeping it on the ground with the running back. They'll make the stop behind the line of scrimmage, and that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit, because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Wide out in motion. On second down, looking again to throw. Makes the catch. It's Smith. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. On the option. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to get the three. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 39-yard attempt. Absolutely perfect. And the field goal ties it up here in the second quarter. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. He's brought down if the 16 would have been much better off to take the touchback. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. Out of the gun to give to the back. He has the first and still on his feet. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. 
you ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Might as well give it to him again. Not the biggest play in the world, but it's one that can set the tone as he bangs his way out to the 38. This running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Off the play fake. And they got him for the sack. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Barry. They'll get the first down, it's spotted on the 49. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. A defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or some safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break up the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. From the gun, wants to pass. Still looking, on the move. Trying to make magic on the scramble. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. These guys aren't human. Either. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll give it to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. They've made clutch, tough plays on this drive on third down. They need one more on third and seven. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And with that, they've taken the lead. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease.
They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. Fielded in the end zone. It's Mason. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. We'll see what they can do on this drive that starts at the 16-yard line. Now on the option. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. And here comes the offense on second down. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. Third and ten, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. Got a man, it's Baxter. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The punt team makes its way onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. First play of the drive comes from the 41. Leaves it with the back. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. What a great play by the linebacker. Did you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit out, sir. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. With the catch, it's Smith. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quickly to the tight end. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now. Having given up multiple first downs on this drive, somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop them. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. And that pass picked off. He was thinking big return, didn't get that. But boy, did he give his offense an opportunity at the 31. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. Opening snap of this drive comes from the 31-yard line. He'll come out throwing on first down safe completion on the screen they make the stop but a good pickup there on first down there's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer line getting set on second down he's looking to throw grabbed over the middle it's Morris and he almost ran away from everybody on that one a huge pickup on that play 
could that be the play that finally wakes them up? Just not a lot of good going on offensively here in this first half. They've only got three points to show for their efforts. They haven't been throwing it a lot, but they took a shot there. They got a chunk play. Now they're in a position. They need to score a touchdown here before the half is over. Using the quick game. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. He wants to pass it on second down. Took a shot as he threw. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Grabbed in the middle. It's Baxter. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Ball in plus territory. First and ten, under a minute to go. We might get a touchdown before halftime. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Yeah, and that was tough on the DB, right? He's trying to cover the receiver on a drag route, running back over the middle of the field. You're trying to avoid all the linebackers, all the congestion. He just couldn't stay with them long enough, and as a result, fresh set of downs for the offense. And the pass is intercepted. Got some room to run. And they come up with a big play to make sure no more points go on the board before the end of the half. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and die. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Going up top on first down. He'll loft one deep down the left side. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the big house. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. Off the play fake on first down. Caught close to the marker, it's Smith. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. They'll run the option. Got the first down and more. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the fullback. This takes me back to my days growing up, watching the fullback, being on the field every single play. You don't see that anymore, but the big fella gets the football. Hey, he looks like he knew what to do with it, too. Nice little pickup, little, little, little agility, little, little uh, speed, but mostly a lot of just girth and strength and just grown man. 
Looking down the middle. Complete downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten. This quarterback part of their running game. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The option look. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, when you're handing off to your fullback, oftentimes these guys need some space to work so they can build up ahead of steam and get the speed going, but that guy didn't have anywhere to go on that one. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Goes to the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. That is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Guys, this offense will go back on the attack. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Caught in the backfield, it's Barry. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. You've got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. They're going to ride this running back. Really nice job creating his own space, running with attitude. He's up to the 37-yard line. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. Red pass, it's complete. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Offenses want to get the ball to their playmakers really fast. And they try to throw the wide receiver screen. But how about the defender? He was right there in his space. Got him on the ground as soon as he caught it. He was ready for that play. Lining up to convert third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. Fires to the wide out. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. 
using his legs, keeping his up, trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. The idea was to sell that play fake. Nobody was buying it. You're right, Reese. That D-line, they looked like they had their ears pinned back, and they were coming after the quarterback. You saw dudes rush upfield. They got to that QB fast. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Feeling some heat. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. They'll run the option. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. Going with the counter play here. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He'll ride his man on the option. Still on his feet at the 45. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. And, and put that on the list of things I did not think I would see today. I did not think I'd see the fullback breaking off a big run. The big fella usually in there to block, but he shows you. Wait a minute. I can do what the running backs can do, too. Don't sleep on me. On the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage and you start sending them because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, you could tell, he had a good clue what was going on. He knew it was a run play. Fired, pulled the trigger, came downhill, and attacked the running back. On third down, he drops the throw. Caught behind the line. It's Smith. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the 
sticks. So we get the first down, but nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Final play of the quarter coming. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Really nice job there by both guys, the throw and the catch, to work that defense and get the first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, what happens is that DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Those are the kind of plays in the second half you have to make. This back has had plenty of success. He's gotten a lot of touches. Now, defensively, we've got to show him things are about to be different. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The play action fake. That's caught. It's Allen. And that first defender was just waving at him after that sweet move. He picked up the first down. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play. So there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. From the gun, the running back looking for room. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got a lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. On second down, he'll let it fly. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And I think if I'm a QB, I like the decision. I get it to my, my running back, who's really good after the catch, and really good with the ball in his hands, but the defense did the job. They got him on the ground. They gave up some yards, but they forced the fourth down. You say, well, why don't you throw it beyond the sticks? Sometimes the completion is enough to give the punt team some space. That is just gorgeous. Knocks it out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Sticks it in his belly. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. The give to the fullback. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior.
They bring the punter onto the field now. They'll have to punt for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and made. First snap in this drive will come from the 46. They go to the ground. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll run it again. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. A third down try for the offense. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And here comes the punt team. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. A first down for the offense. Give to the fullback. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. They'll line up for a second down play. Now on the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. On the option. Quick toss. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He's going to pass. Grabs it in the middle. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. They'll run the option. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He'll set up to throw. They're setting up the screen. He would love to have picked up the first down there, but saving the timeout, saving the clock, much more important right now. Yeah, that could save the game, because now I can work the middle of the field still. Now I can still take those shots deep. When I get without timeouts and those starting to dwindle, I get very predictable. So great job getting out of bounds. And here we go, down the score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Throws to the wideout. Got it past the marker. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Not really a huge decision there. You don't want to give up the football at this juncture of the game. And they're able to keep the drive going. You know, the head coach here obviously feels like punts and field goals. They're not going to get him back in. And, so... and it's in there for a touchdown. 
That is how it's done. In the clutch, in the big time, your offense comes up with the big drive, puts points on the board. Now you tell your kicker, go knock this PAT through, take the lead. Nice execution by this offense. Lining up to add another. And he knocks it through, and they take the lead. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score, and they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Offense set on first down. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Got his man downfield. And he breaks into the open. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Comes out throwing on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, this defense has had the QB's number all game long. One of the reasons why is because this cornerback, when he's on an island, he's winning the 50-50 balls, and he's not letting anything get thrown over his head downfield. Great job in coverage, disguising what he's doing and knocking balls away. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. He's got it down the middle. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. They'll throw it on first down. Wide open downfield. Oh, no, the ball popped out. And they put it on the deck, but it gets out of bounds to avoid the turnover. You know, fumbles really just comes down to luck. Oblong shaped the ball just can bounce any which way whatsoever. An offense right there, very lucky that one went out of bounds. And a late opportunity to grab the lead here. A touchdown would be huge. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he steps into the end zone for a touchdown. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Looking to throw. Makes his connection. He gets it into the end zone. The two-point try is good, and now the lead is seven. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. A strike downfield. Open runway ahead. Running inside the 20. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. To the air on first down. Let's it go to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. 
How nice is it as a defense when you've got a corner that can play on an island and be as dominant as this guy has been all game long? We just saw another great example of it right there. Breaking on the ball and knocking it away. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Caught near the sideline, it's Smith. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. This is a tough one. A third and long from this part of the field. They can, though, pick up the first down. And he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. And here in the final minute, they're a single point behind. And great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game. Now, all you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do, just like practice. Knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. This is supposed to be the easiest play in football, except when there's this much pressure. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they've got it locked up in the final minute after the touchdown and extra point. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Line gets set, first down. Give to the running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Quarter's not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football. I'm finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Allen. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. We're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. And they force a negative play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The back goes in motion. On second down, just keeps firing. Got him downfield. Balls it in and takes it in for a touchdown. These two guys, they just shared a glance, and they knew exactly, exactly what to do, Dave. And how many times do we hear that? That the quarterback talk about him after the game and go, hey, I just looked at him. He knew what I saw. I knew what he saw. We're on the same page. We've done this before. That chemistry equals big plays. The all-important extra point would push this lead to seven. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. 
misfired him, unleashes one deep. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. Yeah, and that's nice coverage. He's taking a shot, trying to throw the ball to the end zone. Maybe put that thing up a little bit higher where his guy can go up and make a play and come down. Nice job by the defender just getting his fingertip on the top of the football. Four down territory in overtime, and they need to pick up a third and long here. Complete to the right. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. And the defense has to be kicking themselves for allowing a first down there. You're just maybe going to give them a few yards and let them set up for a field goal. Instead, you let them move the chains, and now they're knocking on your door first and goal. They're going to throw it again. He's got him still on his feet. Takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We've got to figure something out. We've got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. And the extra point was good to finish things off. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. And it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. They got the touchdown. Now in the second overtime, you have to go for two. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. They got it. Executed beautifully, and the lead is eight in double OT. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Got his man. They make the stop at the five-yard line, but they've got it first and goal. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, man. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen. He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decisions. And he's in for the touchdown. I think the quarterback showed his head coach a lot on that last touchdown pass. The poise and the confidence. And because of that, David, on this upcoming two-point play, you might just put it back in his hands and let him go win it. Yeah, man, I need it again, right? Like, these rules, I got to go for two. This is a clutch moment. Obviously, got to come up big. Do you trust him again? You worked on these two-point plays all year long, all week long. That's what you do. You know the rules. Now you got to go execute. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. I'll try to power it in. They couldn't get it in, and what a heartbreaking way for this one to end in double overtime.